So in the last video, we explained how to set up the NCD MCP 23008 module. If you haven't watched that video already, uh, please go down to the description at the bottom of this video or over to the right and uh, have a look at that article and the introduction video. That will show how to install the MCP 23008 library for Node-RED. For this video, I'm going to be using a four-channel uh, IoT interface relay controller, as you can see here. There'll be a link to this uh, product in the description. And plugged into that board, I have a USB to I2C adapter. And basically, this allows me to connect this relay controller to the USB port of my computer. I'm using a Mac computer, but you can uh, absolutely do this in Windows or Linux. You will need to have Node-RED installed. We have an article on that, which will also be linked in the description. So in the last video, um, we set up a real simple test here where we could, uh, we could turn a relay on and off uh, with these inject modules in Node-RED. In this video, we're going to have a little bit of fun with the uh, change and delay modules or nodes in Node-RED. And we're going to trigger a relay for uh, a duration. We're going to do basically a timer. We click the button and the relay turns on for a specific amount of time. So uh, to keep things simple, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab this uh, MCP23008 node and I'm just going to copy it by hitting Command C on my keyboard. And we're going to create a new flow. And we'll come in here and we will paste it. All right, so there it is. It's all configured and ready to go. We don't have to do anything. I also disabled my previous uh, flows um, just so that they weren't also trying to communicate with the same board. So uh, to start here, we're going to uh, drag in an inject node. And uh, we're going to have that node uh, send a payload of type number. And we're going to send a 1. And for the topic, uh, we're going to set that to channel underscore one because we want to uh, trigger relay one for a specified amount of time. And we'll just name this uh, inject button trigger. And click done. And now we'll hook that up to, uh, to our board. Now uh, we want to basically turn the relay on, wait a specified duration, and then automatically turn it back off. So the easiest way to do that is to get the relay status output from the board, change it from a 1 to a 0, wait a specified duration, and then inject it back into the board to turn it back off. This will make a little more sense here in a second. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here in our palette and we're going to grab the change node, which just comes built into Node-RED. This is just a stock uh, node. So we're going to drag that in here. And we're going to double click on it. And uh, I'm not going to put anything in there for name. Um, we're going to uh, change this to change. And we're going to change message.payload. We're going to search for a number of 1. And we're going to replace that with a number of 0. OK? So basically, whenever a, one, uh, whenever a message payload comes into this change module with a payload uh, with a number one in it, we're going to change that number one to a zero. That's all we're doing here. Okay, and that's it for the change node. Now we're going to drag in a delay node here. And uh, we'll set this to, uh, let's just say, one second. Actually, you know, let's do 250 milliseconds. You can do this uh, really fast. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the output message for GPIO1, which is Relay1, uh, and whenever I hit this trigger, it's going to send a 1 uh, for channel 1 into the node, into the MCP23008 node. After the relay turns on, this MCP23008 node is going to tell me that the new status of Relay1 is 1. So we're going to drag that into our change node. So we're going to get a 1 in here. And in this change node, whenever we see a 1, we're going to change that to a 0. So now it, this is going to output a message payload with a 0 in it. We're going to go into our little delay here. 
which is going to wait 250 milliseconds, and then it's just going to pass that message right back out. So we'll just take this and we'll connect it back into uh, the MCP2008 node. So basically how it goes is you click this button, it sends out a 1 for channel 1. The node tells us, hey, the new status of GPIO 1 is 1, and it outputs here. We see that we got a 1, we change it to a 0, we output over here to the delay, we wait 250 milliseconds, and then we output that message payload of 0 right back into here. And whenever the 0 comes in here, we're going to get a 0 that comes out here. But that's going to come into this change node, and it's going to, not going to find a 1 in there, it's going to find a 0. So it's not going to do anything, and it's just going to stop. And that's pretty much all that there is to it. So at this point, we will go ahead and deploy this. Okay, and we're all ready to go. So we'll click our uh, we'll click our uh, inject module here, and you'll hear a real fast click there. Very simple. And uh, if you want to actually see what's going on here, um, we can drag a uh, debug right here, so we can just see that the uh, the message that's coming out for GPIO one. We'll go ahead and deploy that, clear this out, and uh, let's trigger it again. So see, we got a 1 came in there, and then it immediately went to a 0. There you go. It's as simple as that. You can change this to any duration you want. Um, you can go for you know, maybe 1 second. Deploy that. And you'll see we got a lot longer trigger that time. So that's really about all there is to it. Um, this was just a short little tutorial to show you how to trigger a relay for a specified duration. If you have any other questions, let us know. Be sure to have a look at the hardware used in this video down in the comment section. And if you'd like to go to the master article for all of our MCP23008 node red tutorials, uh, check the description down below for a link to that. Thank you. Have fun.